So we're on the north side of Sand Lake. I'm sorry, Sand Point. And we are about to transition onto Highway 200. And this is the route that three 1.6 million pound megaloads have proposed to take to a tar sands refinery in Montana where uh, they would assist in tripling the production capacity. So we're taking highway, it's a state highway, 200 east, and it is primarily a two-lane highway. And uh, as you can see, there are other oversized loads that tend to take this road. It looks like that particular load is actually going to be following us. Crossing train tracks here. Pretty bumpy road. Speed limit 45 miles an hour. And uh, right now we're traveling through the town of Pondere. And again, we're heading east on Highway 200. There's train tracks to our left and Pondere Lake to our right. This is sort of the northern edge of town. We'll soon be going through or next to at least five different uh, game management wildlife preserves or wildlife management areas. It looks like this road is already somewhat torn up. You might be able to see uh, washboard grooves in the, not just the middle of the lanes but all over the place so it's possible that other oversized equipment has used these roads in the past. And uh, yeah, it's a very uneven surface, very bumpy, and we are actually being followed by an oversized load as we speak. It's probably one of the last lights on the north side of town here. And we're at the intersection with the Kootenai Cutoff Road. Still plenty of traffic. 45 mile per hour speed zone. Entering Kootenai, population 441. It's about 9.30 on Thursday morning, April 3rd. Not a lot of vegetation yet on the hardwoods in the area. Apparently a lot of sort of wetland looking areas over to our right bordering the lake. Also a major rail line that we understand comes out of western Montana also on our right.
must be the edge of town. We're up to 55 mile per hour speed limit through here. Plenty of traffic. People drive with their uh, headlights on in the daytime here a lot just because it's very rural, very wooded, and therefore a little on the darker side in terms of roads. pretty rough in terms of surface. So they haven't been well maintained. And uh, running three one point six million pound mega loads over these surfaces is likely to do more damage. Uh, there's probably a lot of frost, if not uh, outright water on these roads, especially in the spring. There's a lot of water in the ditches right now. Mid-morning, early April. So this is a very beautiful wooded area. Uh, ahead of us are the Cabinet Mountains. We're also surrounded on various sides by uh, the Selkirk and Purcell Mountains. And then there's another range just to the east of part of Lake Pondere, east of Sagal and uh, Sandpoint. That's the cabinet range over to the right, along with railroad tracks and the lake, and as well as ahead. And uh, that cabinet range runs all the way into Montana, here and there, relatively steep. around here, likely uh, sort of lake floodplain and, uh, and that of the various tributaries that flow into the lake. Elevated rail line to our right in between us and more flat floodplains of the lake. Forests look primarily there's a little bit of ponderosa pine mixed in here and there where it's dry, but mostly it looks like Douglas fir, white pine, birch, perhaps some spruce mixed in here and there. And we just passed Sunnyside Road and Milepost 37. 
lots of wetlands to our right. Here, we're going to be passing into the Pack River Game Management Area. Actually, going right through it. Uh, so, we're going over a bridge here. Might have been the Pack River, not really sure. Looks like there's a lot of people hauling boats and other equipment on this road below the mountains. Now it's looking like a river on the right. Mile post 38. Oh no, it's just a wetland. over the Pack River and uh, it's pretty extensive wetlands all around us. This is a game management area that we're actually driving through going over the Pack River Bridge right now. Road work ahead. Hmm. It's not like this road doesn't need some work. Lots of water all around us. Lots and lots of water major delta area it would appear so you can see off that way lots of wetlands and then the lake probably beyond that We're slowing down because apparently there's road work up here there's some more wetlands for you Right next to the road, we're actually going through a game management area right now on this road. Flagger ahead. I'd have to cut this video short if we had to stop. Oh yeah, I have a big caterpillar in the middle of the road. Looks like we're stopping. 